cloudburst is an extreme weather phenomenon occurring in the Himalayan region. Cloudbursts in the Uttarakhand region of India have often caused loss of life and property. Forest fires pose a similar problem in these high altitude areas. Indian researchers have now found a link between incidents of forest fires and cloudbursts after conducting a research in this area. Scientists from the Hemvati Nandan Bahuguna Garhwal University in Srinagar, Uttarakhand and the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur study the amount of cloud condensation nuclei in this region from August 1, 2018 to June 30, 2019 and found that the quantity of such particles were found to have peaks associated with forest fire events. In this project, one CCN counter, cloud condensation nuclei counter was set up in this cloud observatory in collaboration with that uh, co-PI from Central University Himalayas. This counter can very accurately measure cloud condensation nuclei. Cloud condensation nuclei are aerosol particles at which cloud droplets can form. You would not see any clouds in the sky if there were no dust or aerosol particles. So in central Himalayas, these are first of its kind measurement. Picking up the fire data over Himalayas, we could see that there is a very strong correlation between fire counts and CCN number concentration. In this study, conducted under the climate change program funded by the Department of Science and Technology, the researchers measured the activation of cloud condensation nuclei and studied its impact on high-altitude cloud formation. They also studied the complexity of local weather phenomenon under the influence of different weather conditions in the ecologically sensitive regions of central Himalayas for the first time. These droplets were measured using the droplet measurement technology CCN counter at the Himalayan Cloud Observatory on the Himvati Nandan Bahuguna Garhwal University campus. Cloud condensation nuclei are fine particles such as dust, ash or salt which can activate and grow into fog or cloud droplets in the presence of supersaturation. Therefore, the increase in the amount of these particles due to forest fires can be the reason for the increase in the incidence of cloud burst in these areas. Transportation pollution and residential emissions have also been found to be the factors in increasing these particles. Himalayan ecosystem is very fragile, particularly when the climate change is happening. It could have a variety of adverse impacts on Himalayan ecosystem. We are seeing several phenomena already. We have seen uh, every year there are cloud bursts that happen sometime. Uh, late last year we saw a big lake burst in Himalaya. So given these kind of extreme events, it is quite important to measure uh, these uh, important atmospheric parameters which can tell you how clouds form how can you implement that in models to predict cloud formation, rain in the Himalayas in a much better way? This study has been published in the research journal Atmospheric Environment. This study by Indian researchers will be helpful in accurately estimating the source of pollutants reaching the high altitude regions of the Himalayas and create a better understanding of extreme weather events like cloud bursts. Based on this, appropriate disaster management strategy can be prepared.